fancy crafting. I don't call it that, really. Uh, I don't know what we're going to call this thing. I don't know what I'm doing here, but I do know I have a remarkable craft for you this time. And that's because it's that time of year where we're encouraged to share our thoughts with another human being, share our feelings with someone special, be it a crush or a paramour or a, what do you call it, spouse. But you know, sharing your feelings with another human face to face can be really hard. I try to avoid it whenever I can, and I communicate solely through passive-aggressive home decor. Like these conversation heart wall hangings I've got right over my shoulder. Isn't that cute? Condense your message, stick it on there, you don't have to say a thing. <laughs> I'm going to show you how I, how I did those. Come on. Okay, so here's the junk you're going to need for this project. An embroidery hoop or hoops, plural, some cotton fabric. I pre-cut them to about an inch larger than the diameter of the hoop I'm using. Um, fabric stamping ink, letter stamps. You'll need some carving lino, a carver, a clear acrylic block and that sticky stuff to stick your uh, stamp to. And how about a heart template, a writing utensil, and um, you're also going to need some q-tips. Hey ladies, let's talk about size. Because if we're being honest, we know size matters. And that's true of this project today. So this little embroidery hoop is four inches in diameter. And the heart inside is about three inches at its widest part. And it could carry a little message with um, you know, five letters in it was kind of pushing it using the, the little stamps that I, I had in my stash. I felt like, I have a lot of stamps in my stash, but these were kind of the ones that most resembled the Conversation Hearts lettering. But when I got into more complex ideas, longer words, I needed a bigger heart and therefore a bigger embroidery hoop. Now, um, I tested all this stuff out first, you know, using some schematics. You know, just testing out sizes and colors and things. Um, but especially if you don't have access to exactly the same stuff I have, you can still do this project even with like a bigger letter. Um, you're just going to need a bigger heart and a bigger embroidery hoop. Now back to crafting. First things first, we trim that lino down to a size that's more appropriate for the little heart there. I've used a heart template that I made and drew the outline right onto my carving lino using an air soluble marker. I use that a lot in sewing, but it turns out it works great for when I'm creating my own stamps. If you've seen any of my other crafting videos, you know I love to make my own stamps. So there's some tips for carving in previous videos. So next I am going to put that stamp onto the acrylic block. I use this block that has um, the double-sided sticky stuff already adhered to it and that way I can swap out my different stamps and I've got my little guy on here. I'm testing it out on paper because it's a good way to find out if you haven't fully carved. Oh see look I've got some extraneous lines on there that I need to remove. Just assume that I have fixed, cleaned up my stamp. Sorry about the camera angle there. And um, that's fabric stamping ink right on cotton fabric. I love these little stamps. They look like old-timey typewriters, but um, I do have to clean up the edges with Q-tips to get the extra ink off. Otherwise, uh, it's just I don't like the look. 
So there I am using a Q-tip to kind of clean off the extra ink before I stamp it onto the fabric. And there it is. How about that? There's a very tender Valentine message on there. So this is the fiddly part, getting the heart to fit kind of centered in the embroidery hoop. And obviously I didn't like the look of that. I'm zhuzhing it a little bit. And hopefully, oh no, that's even worse. Okay. And eh, that's good enough. So then uh, I just take a scissors and trim off the extra. Pretty easy, right? We did it. Cute, huh? Pretty quick, pretty easy. I mean, you know, the hardest part is coming up with what you want to say. But isn't that always the way? Listen, I get it. I have never met a message I couldn't mix. <laughs> we'll leave it there. Thanks so much for joining me again. If you want to encourage me to make more of these deals, uh, subscribe, share. A comment below, even if you just want to tell me how amazing my hair is. I love hearing your feedback. So until next time, stay crafty out there. <laughs>